tonight um, who came from a Christian background. Um, he'd been baptised and his mother had as well, um, but she'd gone away from the Lord. Um, she'd given up the church. Um, he was very open to listening to what I had to say. Um, I took him through the good person test um, and he admitted he wasn't a good person. And, and I was able to tell him uh, about the good news about Jesus. Um, but still, he didn't understand that he wasn't a good person. Like even so, he still kept coming back and saying, well, maybe my good deeds um, are, are gonna get me into heaven. Um, so I gave him a tract and just praying that he will read it and um, understand that um, the only way to heaven is, is Jesus. Let your song be heard everywhere on earth Until your sovereign work on earth is done Let your kingdom come Tonight I had a really interesting conversation. I was doing the flip chart with uh, two young ladies. We had started doing it and then these two older guys came along. They wanted to join in a bit but they were a bit more disruptive and just as we were going through like have you ever lied and have you ever stolen and they were, one of them was like oh how old is the earth? What about dinosaurs? And throwing all these random questions not letting me really speak which unfortunately meant that those two young girls uh, left. I then got speaking with the, these two guys, one in particular. He said he had some sort of religious background and um, I, I answered some of these questions but then I said, look, I want to ask you, I want to address your conscience. Do you think you're a good person? He's like, yeah, I think I'm a good person. So I said, well, let's see. Have you ever lied? Have you ever stolen? Have you ever used God's name in vain? So I went through each of these different commandments and you could see something change. His mouth stopped. He didn't have all these objections about what about dinosaurs anymore. He said, oh, I now realize I'd be sent to hell. He's like, what, what can I do? What can I do to be forgiven of my sin? I, I explained to him how Jesus came into this world to pay the penalty for our sin, that he took our, our blame for us. We need to trust in his death alone for our forgiveness, and that'll cause us then to start turning from our sin. He said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head home now. I'm not going to go to the pub. I'm not going to go down to the strip club or anything like that. I think I'm going to get right with God tonight. I was praising God after they were, as they were leaving. The two young girls that I was chatting to at the start, they'd been waiting around just at a nearby seat. They came back and said, can we keep on doing the flip chart? And so I was able to go through the whole presentation with them. They were very open. They heard the message. They left with the track. And so I just want to give God the glory for everything that He is doing. We know that we're nothing, we're unworthy servants, and yet we know that God is in the business of saving people, and His Word never returns void. So to God alone be all the glory.